last time on Lawful Stupid. And so you've all rejoined. Nadash, my friends and I now have um, the blessing of the spirits. We were supposed to get those so we could help Ben. We will also need a sacrifice. Harriman, you said that you knew somebody. Yes, I wasn't sure it would come to this. She walks up to Delmore and takes a knee. It is a captain's job to sacrifice what they must for the good of their crew. Finnegan is part of my crew, and if that's what it takes, I'm ready. Uh, that makes one of us. He takes the dagger from her and enacts the ritual very painstakingly. Perry lies uh, dying in the middle of these four great spirits who begin to illuminate with light. When the light fades, you'll note that the statues have returned to stone. And in the center of this dirt circle lies the body of Finnegan Marsh. Wake up! I am Finnegan Morish. Navish, we need your power. The world is changing, and I'm afraid if we do not change it at the mainland, it will change in the Pulasa Isles for the worst. And I'm telling you that as long as I am the chief, we will not endanger our people in this way. Then you leave me no option. I challenge you to a tribal battle for chieftain. Jin, just for the rest of the episode, just edit us in a previous instance saying, Izu! And so this trial by combat begins, this this fight for dominance of the Pulas Isles that will change the fate of, of these people for all time. Finnegan, what do you do? So in, in tradition, traditional fashion, there is a small island that is in the middle. So I imagine that we've that I've, I've, I've made the challenge known. And mm-hmm. so preparations have to be made. It's a very formal process that yeah. there's it's a tradition the that has to, be, has to be done. Cause so all the people are, are represented. Uh, from every tribe. There's like one motherfucker just destroying some drums. <laughs> Ginge, you got it. Uh, you got it. Yeah, so everyone's making their way over. Um, my my father, um, dad again, puts on the suit or the, the get up from where I fought Izu! last time. And it still has the, the claw marks from that. I didn't want to ruin such a beautiful moment, but as soon as you started drumming, I'm like, fuck, did we just roll into the Jumanji? Like that drum sequence, I was like, oh fuck, this is Jumanji. Somebody's gonna roll an eight. There will be animals. There will be old people with beards. It's Jumanji. Yeah, it's Jumanji. So yeah, so I I imagine uh, it didn't take long to get together. People are excited about this. They're also very confused because uh, of given the times and, and the fact that the world is collapsing seemingly in other places and it may stretch to here as well. Yeah, it's palpable the the kind of tension that's in the air as the, as this battle kind of not only determines who, who their leader is going to be, but what kind of world that they're le- led to, like the world that they've known, or this this great unknown, and and possibly taking on this um, or escaping from this this great evil. What do you do? And now it's it's time it's time for the fight. Yeah. Um, the, the drum cease and um, so we, we have to face each other and almost do like a ceremonial bow to one another mm-hmm. uh, but following that it's it's game on yeah uh, I think what also happens is around this there's like a, a, a circle around us a large circle around us so you can't get out and it is it is set ablaze um, just mostly for show. Uh, yeah. But it's just part of the circle. So knowing that that is the ring, that's the rule. It's so, also a great circle. It's just cool circle fire. It's, it's just, it is what it is. It's uh, very okay. cool. <clears throat> so immediately the thing that I am going to do uh, first is, is just a hand goes up to the sky and and I, I swirl my hand in a circle and, and suddenly a dark you throw that cloud, hand a set of dark clouds that were, were not there. It's just, it's a clear day begin to form. Um, 
I don't know that you're going to say, that's not how call lighting works. There has to be clouds already. But they begin to form there. No, I told you. Yeah, it's good. And I do call lightning down onto that, onto... Izu! And so I yeah, just well, point. And it, and the lightning comes down and it strikes his, his, his body and his whole form is just lit up with this electricity for a moment. And then it fades. He smiles. Who can play at this game? And he raises his hand up and the storm seems to intensify as he calls down a bolt of lightning pointing at you and you are struck with light. I feel like it pushes me back, but only just a little bit. Um, I then take a, an action. What I'm going to do is to try to turn my, make my skin a little bit harder. So I, I'm going to take my arms, put them over my chest. And it's almost like I'm flexing and I'm just, it, my turn will be to use stone skin um, to try to beef up my defense. Okay. So what Nadash is going to do is he's going to just take his hand, make a fist, all the muscles bulging, veins sticking out as he shoves his fist into the earth underneath of him. And a crack forms out from there. This fissure that is, is striking and cracking and heading towards you as the ground opens up underneath you and you begin to fall. Uh, so I will use... Uh Oh gosh! Look at those I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use erupting earth underneath myself to to kind of bring from the sides of that chasm uh, mm -hmm. a foothold for myself to push me up uh, yeah. and project me into the air uh, in a trajectory that will land on top of him to knock him down. You doing any cool shit as you land? Um, so it'll be to like almost like land on his shoulders to drop down and get him in a headlock is my goal WWE shit you've WWE'd him you are you've got him in the rear naked and he's kind of scrambling and clawing at your arms as you're trying to choke the life out of him I will um, turn my arms into like snake tails and begin to wrap them around and around his body to constrict him. Uh, Does that count? <laughs> well, just I don't quick. have that anymore. I have to be animal again, right? I have to just yeah, 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 yeah. Darn. yeah. You, as as part of realigning your human and your beast chakras, you are no longer a war shaper. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Turn like a gorilla. You can turn into a um, bear. You know what? Strike him with your bare arm. Instead, I'd like to hold him with one arm still, and I'm going to point back up to the sky and then beat down on his chest to call lightning again. Do you oh, use the, the ancient ritual uh, spellcasting word Shazam? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that he uses the, the words ancient and powerful druid uh, Richard Flair. He just goes, Woo! Woo! I think we just broke the audio. <laughs> sorry, Jess. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Uh, so the, the lightning comes down and it kind of forces through both of your bodies as you guys are, are entwined and you both feel the shock and he just goes, how much can you take, Finnegan? And he calls down another bolt of lightning directly on top of both of you. Oof, okay. Um, I think as he, as he calls down and perhaps before um, it gets to me, I will... I don't, what level is polymorph for me? So I'm gonna I'm gonna polymorph into a phoenix. I don't think I can do a phoenix. I think it was level ten. I think it was level eight. I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think of something cool, that, but there's nothing that I can think of right now. Um, just chase your bliss. Um, okay. Ooh, I have this. Let's see what this does. Oh, you know what? I have, I have stone skin. So, like, I, I say to him, like, I am protected, you fool. And I will call down another one. But this time, I want to roll out of the way as I do that. Yeah, it's too easy for you to kind of call the lightning to, like, directly in front of both of you. And you kind of shove them into it and, and roll away as the lightning strikes. He kind of he sits there 
with, you know, smoke and vapor just pouring off of his body. And he goes, cracks his neck. You may have stone skin, but I am one with the elements. Dreading magic is part of my heritage, part of my life. It does not phase me. Then I guess it's an old school beat down, and I turn into a giant gorilla. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I think that he goes, then it's an old school beat down, and turns into a giant crocodile. I, I love this. Um, let me go look at what a gorilla can do. It can do whatever your mind thinks. We're not doing regular combat, Devin. Got gotcha. you. Um, Tell okay, me what you do. So I, I'm going to run over to this this crocodile, and I want to attempt to grab his tail because I'm going to I'm going to swing him out of the circle. Because that, that the rules are you're out of the circle. That's Ooh, a loss. Super too. Mario is ass. Yeah. Yes. You're going to Super Mario him. Yeah. As you as you do that, as you go to kind of you pick him up with both of your your hulking gorilla hands as you grab his tail and you begin to spin him uh seismic toss style around and around like very much like uh mario 64 yes uh so three spins as 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 you do that he turns with his crocodile jaws and just snaps into your shoulder viciously Uh. blood pouring from the wound uh so then i'm gonna take um one hand on the top mouth beak mm-hmm. and, mandible snoot. and it's top of the snoot and pull up and then the other one is going to poke in in an eye Arr! and i want to take one of those teeth and put it in a in a gorilla pocket somewhere for a necklace later gorilla pocket is another name for prison wallet <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, okay, at this point, then, uh, or is it his turn? Yeah, yeah. So, so what he's going to do is he's going to shape shift again while he's still like kind of biting into you. But this time, he's going to turn to this giant rock. Uh, that's R O K for those of you paying attention. Home's a very large <laughs> bird. Just just turn into a fucking Kirby rock and smash you. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Got him. He he turns into a rack and he. Uh, he, he digs two t- mighty talons into your shoulders and begins flapping his wings, lifting you up into the air. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I'm going to grab onto both wings and and uh, hold tight. I don't, As think, you, I don't think I can handle the weight. Remember the gorillas are good with their feet, bruh. As you do that, you, you guys have flown into the air, and then you kind of grab his wings and, and see something being able to to flap and to flex and to, and to generate any lift, and so you both are just plummeting back towards the earth. Uh, does, he, does he want to make a move, or is that, I don't know. Yeah, as you guys are plummeting back to the earth, he shapeshifts yet again, uh, this time assuming the form of a rhinoceros, um, hoping to just crush you under his weight as you land on the earth okay i want to oh gosh i know how this is going to work what i'd like to do is as as he's falling get up onto his back very much donkey kong style and also but use erupting earth to meet meet us oh yeah give him the old earth uppercut and i think that's exactly what happens i think the earth uh, takes on the form of like a fist and it rises up to meet you and just fucking KOs this rhino, like snaps his horn, just like really does him in, uh, doing so much force and so much damage as, as you guys collide with this earthen fist that he actually reverts back to his humanoid form and is unconscious. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Lawful Stupid just jumped over. First of all, it's free, and we love that. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, wherever you're at, on the go. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. There are a lot of other vendors out there, a lot of platforms that they will make sure your podcast gets to. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. 
And you can make money from your podcast with zero, I say again, with zero minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I'm going to go over just to uh, flip him over and make sure that he's down. Oh, he's 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 night night. As I'm I'm breathing heavy, I revert back to my my normal human form and look around at all of the people. They cheer, they erupt. Just everyone's applaud. Just this this great spectacle before them. They never thought they would see. Especially, and even though they're in a, a, a time of relative peace now, all of the tribes from outside the arcane trees never thought that they would see someone from that tribe defeated. And and to, to see this happen is kind of just a, a, a real cathartic moment uh, for, for everybody. Your, your father, Dadigan, he is he's weeping manly tears of pride as he goes, That's my son! That's my son! And I like I beat my chest three times and then I, I stop and I look back at Izu who's unconscious. And I put put my, my fist to my forehead, say something in my breath, and then hand toward him, uh, and I'm casting healing spirit to, to, to bring him back. He gets to see that he's beat. He gets to see that uh, I'm, I am in charge now. His eyes open and his eyes, which were rolled back in his head, come back and focus slowly. I lost. I extend my hand down to help him up. He takes it, gets it back up. on his feet unsteadily. And I say, I'm the captain now. You could have said, you have been weighed. You have been measured. You've been, measured. been found wanting. You've been found wanting. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I have. Izu! He, he's, he's just kind of woozy, and he looks around and he goes, Everyone, your new chief. And he grabs your hand from the beginning and he raises it above both your heads. And the crowd cheers again, erupting yeah! with just, just with pride and 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 glory of this moment. Uh, that you have their attention, Chief. So as they're quiet, speech. <clears throat> and and I I'm looking and and uh, around me, and I turn as I look at the different people, and I say, the arcane forest, panther people, proud, and they they would cheer. The standing okay. star people, the lynx of the sky, and they would shoot. Yeah, uh, psychedelic, bro. <laughs> My people, the twilight fish, and they would cheer. Ooh! Nothing. Next <laughs> <Chris. laughs> That's their shit. And the sleeping mountain people. Rocks! Fuck you! Yeah. I fight today. Because there is an evil that we cannot fight on our own, even with all of the magic on the island. We are only strong when we fight together. My grandmother told me a story. You know the one about the grasshopper and the ants. It is time yeah, for us. Tell again. Do you have time, please? Do do I have a few minutes, everyone? Do you have twenty minutes or so? Your, your, your handler reaches <laughs> over and puts a hand on your shoulder. And goes, mm-hmm. your, your new PR guy. Uh, <laughs> so no, no, no. We we gotta make a flight. No, it's Izu. Yes, that's the spot you take when you lose, and that's yeah, why I left. Exactly. I did not want to be the handler. Dude, I, second place. You gotta be the fucking guy's okay, secretary. Okay. It sucks. Yeah. Oh. And I'm the president. And I'm the president. As your chief, it is my responsibility to ensure that our kind, our people, go living forever, or as long as the gods will allow. Today, we make a decision, and I make a decision for us, that we must survive, and we will travel 
and we will start anew. A place where we will succeed just as we have succeeded here for generations. I will lead you and you will be successful. And the, the crowd is kind of uncertain for a moment as this kind of silence goes through as much trepidation has been held for this voyage, for this journey. And then Izu puts a hand upon your shoulder and says, where our chief leads, we follow. And everybody kind of get, gets up, starts packing their shit. I mean, they're, they're like, yeah, let's do this. We're ready to go. Some of them even shapeshift into small animals and run Some off. Some of them the become show. become corgis and bork in the distance. <laughs> Gotta get there faster. Shut up, mother. I'm so I'm sorry. I did not mean to say <laughs> that. I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> uh, and so it's me, mom again. I turn to Nadash and say, uh, "I can see that they. You have been a good leader." And perhaps while I was gone, I, I thought that you did not mean the best for us. And I see that I was wrong. But I also think that we have to go. Thank you for your support. I have always admired you, Finnegan, even when we were small children. Part of me always knew that this day would come, and I am proud to stand beside you. And I, brother. The thing about you and I is we're very much like salt and what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, go on, go on. See, the salt, you may look at this and you think that's no good, but there are many animals and fish and plants that depend on the combination of the salt and the water to survive. Mm, that is very deep. As deep as the ocean, which is filled with salt water. I love you, man. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I, um, I head back home, and I, I'm going to see the crew, um, and and start making preparations um, to to get out of there. Yeah, Oslo greets you, and she goes, "Wow, Finn, you did a great job beating that guy up. I, I didn't know you could do all that stuff. You sure are stronger now that you're not soup." I don't remember being soup, but yes, tiny dragon, thank you. Oh, you don't. That's whew, great. What What's the last thing you do remember, though? Just so I'm on the same page as you. I remember talking to you and saying something along the lines of you being the salt <laughs> and being the sea. Oh, the water. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, you just slept a lot. A lot of, a lot of. Don't worry mm. about things. So it's good. Hey, you're the king now. That's, that's pretty great. I I feel like I needed it for my identity. Like people needed to respect me or they would not listen and they would be in danger. Mm. Now, yeah, no. Uh, good point. Real quick uh, point of order. Two things. One, um, don't say things like that. It comes off a little totalitarian, right? They needed to respect me. So be careful. Um, okay. And, and two, two. The world's a uh, mess, and I just need to rule it. To ru- to rule it, <laughs> to be the ruler and provide them the structure they need. There's Through two bouncers. Force. One of them's all right. The other one's a scary. It's his way or no way. Totalitarian is what I think of every time I hear that word. <laughs> it, the the second thing is, um, remember that now you're a king. So you can't go chasing after people like chasing after me and getting yourself killed. Oh. My days of adventure are over? Uh, well, maybe not, but you can't 
you can't be on the front lines anymore. Oh, you have I to see. lead from a position of power. You can't mm. be side by side because if you die, then all of your druid buddies are just going to fall apart into discord again. And that's not great. That would never happen. Your mother, mom again, she goes, yes, it's true. You sure do need an heir. Oh, boy. That's howdy. true. Mother, not you, again. We you, have talked about you this. You do need someone to pass down the line. That's true. And then I hope they don't grow up to kill you later. I see a flaw in your government. This has happened in your... No one has done this in my in my neck of the woods. I, for a split second, thought you were going to curb stomp the guy when you were a gorilla. So I, I was very angry, but no, I would not have killed him. It is illegal. Oh, you guys have laws. We have uh, one law. Do not curb stomp people. <laughs> do, 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 do not go. Uh, anyways, I, I we don't even thing. have curbs. It seems you've grown a lot, despite uh, not having a ton of memory between uh, saltwater death and now. <laughs> you are very kind. Um. I think you're going to do great. I think you should have confidence in yourself when you leave. Hmm. How how would you do that? Display oh, confidence. I'm a terrible leader. Uh, probably not the best one to give advice or examples. You have been talking to me about leading for 20 minutes. You're my leader, leader. You might leave leader. me. I have to leave. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm good at giving advice. I, I don't do as I say, not as I do, right? I am what you call the figurehead. You are the leader now. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> all right. Not enough metal in this druid village. Who here can Finnegan. metal bend? Finnegan, the, the shadow government. <laughs> or, no, so Delmore. Shadow government. The shadow government. Ah, well, it's good to, good to have you not be a cup of soup, so... Hmm. Welcome back. Why does everyone keep saying this? Keep saying this soup. Anyway, we need to get going, yes? Yes, that's the plan. Um, the sooner the better. So as soon as your people are... Um, okay, there a lot of them are whales already. I guess <laughs> I guess they're ready. Huh. <laughs> <What? laughs> oh, that's easy <laughs> common scene for us. <laughs> it is also mating season, and that is animal of choice. Oh, you might mix. really stir them up, huh? Oh. The kids. Oh, yeah. fuck, bro. <laughs> oh, it feels so fucking good. Oh, Listen, when you, when you tuned in to Lawful Stupid, you saw the, the E. <laughs> Not for everyone. For <laughs> nope. Nope. Welcome to the animal kingdom that is Finn's island. <laughs> ah, set sails and hoist the dolly or the dinghy. Let's get the fuck out of here. These oh, fucking whales. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Welcome to campaign two, base desires. <laughs> <laughs> Animalia. <laughs> well, instinct. Um, just, uh, just ignore the... I'll do my best. But yes, uh, ready, set sails. Let's go. That, and, that, and that was the day that <laughs> Delmore the Artificer invented noise cancelling headphones. 100%. <laughs> or just a way to destroy your hearing entirely. Who cares if you don't get it back and you I'm never thrilled. have to hear it? Again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could solve this problem for you. Yeah. I just made you deaf. This is I better. I just deafen on myself. This is wonderful. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> this is definitely better. As you just hear a very faint in the distance. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. You can still hear it. <laughs> ben, are, are your people taking <laughs> boats or just... Are they going to fuck as whales the whole time? Um, Most of them should take the boat because it is a long trip and there, there, there is one, home that long. There's one large boat um, that, that is, a giant is leaf. carrying I'm sorry? It's a giant leaf? Very ant's life? It is one or very big life. leaf. Um, one big leaf. From from a, a giant tree that's in the center of the plus so you guys didn't pay attention to but it was there the whole time. Um, 
there's one leaf. Um, it is not shaped like the Bug's Life leaf. It is shaped like the Land Before Time uh, leaf. <gasps> the, 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 the like a star. Like to eat very, very much. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and, uh, and it's being pulled by just the horniest whales. Do you say so? They're the single. They're the single. <laughs> <laughs> they're the single whales. They can't get the frustration the, out anywhere. All the, they're all humpback whales, if you know what I mean. Why are whale whales? Why are, why are whale names <laughs> hopefully, so fucking? Hopefully, none of them are killer whales. Suggestive. You got lady killer whales. You got <laughs> you got sperm whales. You got humpbacks. Beluga sounds sexy to me for some reason. <laughs> it does. You should probably see somebody about that one. I don't know what it is, but the word beluga just grabs my engine, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a good scene. Cool, that's what we're on this episode. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Wait, you got something else? We paint this oh, out. No. Um, I guess that's it. You guys mount up and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your boat anchors away full mast sail <laughs> with the whale to the menagerie to regroup one final time one final time before your expedition launches one last it's a big day time. woof okay all right, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. Uh, Dwayne, I don't know if you have anything. In place of normal advertising, I, I will say, um, uh, look out for Campaign 3. It's coming soon to your inboxes. So drop your patronage now if you're not into it. Um, Please don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, that's fine. I'm just Campaign 3, so Devin's going to be DMing, which means it's going to by, by far be the easiest campaign <laughs> that we've played in so far. Not wrong. And probably the funniest that we've played in so far. So be prepared. Get get your get your pair of pants that you can piss yourself laughing, and then get your spares that you can just swap on when you're done. Yep. Or just wear depends. Your option. There, there's also um, a quick caveat to all the people that join our Discord, leave reviews on iTunes and stuff, which you should do by the way. Um, that say like, oh man, I'm learning how to play D and D. I love listening to you guys. You know, help figure out the rules. Not the time to do that. Campaign three. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's if, a sixth if, edition rule set. So just watch it. It's a, it's a completely different game. Uh, and we look a, forward to it. Uh, we call it a sixth edition. Uh, yeah, edition. Edition. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy uh, Crawford, the Davenport edition. Uh, the the other thing I will say is. Um, so the next episode of Waffle Stupid that you hear is going to be the campaign two finale. Mm. And after after you hear that, kind of of the nature of, of, of how this campaign has come to a close uh, is not particularly how it was intended. Um, but you might have some questions. So we'll be doing a Q&A episode. Get your questions in. Soon, soon as last episode airs, any remaining questions you have, you can we'll be asking for those in Discord. You can email us at the boys at or I'm sorry, the crew at loststupid.org, um, or you can uh, I don't know how else you can get it to us, but you can hit us up on social media, whatever you want, whatever is easy for you. Deliver questions unto us, and we will answer them in the Q and A. I always love those very much. They're very fun, especially very fun like, even for us. Like we're, I have questions uh, for lots of things. Yeah, most of the questions, uh, the, the questions, the number one question, question asker, obviously, inverted zebra. Uh, number two, Devin. Uh, number three, everybody else. <laughs> Uh, let's do uh, the role for humanity. Uh, this yeah. will be kicking off January. Should, this should be January fourth today that you're you're listening. Well, to this welcome, episode. welcome to 2021. Y'all. The first episode of the new year. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so we're going to be donating to Child's right. Play Charity. Uh, Child's Play Charity. Uh, you'll be seeing them again in May. That's when we do our big uh, charity drive. Uh, yeah, let me ask you a question, Devin. Yes. Are you just saying that because you don't have one? No, that's when I picked. 
I don't Elf. know. I, I just I was like, well, May. I was like, yeah, but we haven't done them again in a while. And I just we love them. And they're we do love them. They um they're huge fans of ours. I'm, I'm hoping. And so they they retweet our tweets pretty often. Do they? See, there, there we go. So yes, Child's Play Charity will be taking our money for the month of, of January. And so that first roll for them is a nineteen dollars going to Child's Play Charity. Ooh, um, we that's had the second somebody, best one. Not remembering currently who said it, they joined our Discord recently and said, "Hey, I also started giving um, to whatever charity you guys are giving for the month. I started doing that once a month in my games, and oh, I thought nice. that's that. really, really cool." Um, that was the Chosen Fun. Yes, I mean, just join us. Great, thank you, the Chosen One. That is so awesome of you to do that. So, if you feel so compelled, the links that we have are on our website, lawfulstupid.org, where we who we do- donate to each month. Uh, we update that probably every other month or so, so you can see the backlog of who we give to. Um, so we'll say so quarterly yeah. since Dwayne's been lazy. Uh, at least but, good. D- yeah. D- Damien Harpel also is 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 constantly uh, getting us shout outs and, and tweets every time they they're just um, every week he plays the sun and uh, they roll for for humanity and they they do different charities. Um, they just, just did the uh, organization for autism research, or mm. um, that, that they decided to to take that and roll. And that that's kind of the idea behind Roll for Humanity is that you know if we do it, yeah, it's a cool thing that we do every week. But if you ever if lots of people do it, if you do it in your games, um, it's those little sparks of good that that tend to tend to ripple and, and make a difference. So consider yeah, doing let us that. let us know. We'll give you guys a shout out. That'll be like a free shout out if you're doing a good thing like donating to people. I, I can tell you that. So. Well, I got chainsaw. Uh, well, it is uh, my eldritch task uh, to leave you with a question to ruminate and uh, think and grow on uh, for the course of a week. Uh, the question I'm going to ask you this week is: Where boobs or butt? Where do stars come from? Oh, so I really wanted you to ask about the humpback whales. About what? <laughs> the humpback about whales? whales. I, I have questions about whales. Where do the humpback whales come well, from? Uh, why? Okay, so why do the they call it the humpback week. whale? And it is, is it sexy? Because they have a hump on their back. It's really easy. Um, the question I'll ask you this week is why do whales <laughs> fuck so much? <laughs> <laughs> or, or uh, oh, and I'll give you that. This is an additional. This is a freebie. Um, this is just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you the question, and then I'm gonna tell you the answer immediately afterwards. Um, how do whales eat? Does anybody know how whales eat? They just open up their mouth and eat oh, whatever, and then fill it in. They just swallow. We love I you. I quit this podcast. <laughs> Bye. We love you. Bye.